Oh, what friends did I make? Oh, you guys? I hate you guys. Oh, yeah, sniped. Well, that's not gonna work. I can kill these first. Bam, bam! Where's the third one? Where'd you go? Oh, you pop out. I can hear you. Ah! <laughs> He's in my face. <laughs> he got me. My name is Ken, and welcome back to my continuing satisfactory series on Update 8 Experimental. This is episode 19, and if you'd like to catch up from the beginning, a link to episode 1 is in the description. In this episode, we're completing aluminum from start to finish, as well as a few other side projects. Well, that aluminum won't automate itself, so let's get started. Okay, welcome to stream 19, episode 19. I got disconnected from my internet at the end of stream 18. So that's why it cut off so abruptly if you were watching 18. Welcome to 19 and hopefully Xfinity won't crap out on me tonight. So we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, what are we doing tonight? Well. It is aluminum day, and I'm really excited. We're done with trucks for the foreseeable future. So no more trucks, no more blueprint, but we got in our trucks, our truck stations. There's one there, there's the Caterium. There is the sulfur down there. And then we have two coal, one right here, and then a far away one right there. After I lost you guys on the VOD, I redid a couple of truck routes and then got these pylons kind of set and ready for us to run bauxite. We got to do a pretty far bauxite run today. So that's the last one I placed. We'll run it from there. That's really the plan today. This area, I did a little bit of pre-work. This area is going to be our aluminum factory. It's just big enough and I have a pretty good idea of where I want to place stuff. That's probably what we're going to do first because I was just working on it and I want to get it to get the buildings up like we won't run any belts or anything. I just want to get the buildings placed so I know where everything is uh, and then we'll run. And then I think what we'll do is very quickly is set up our supercomputers before we go run the box site because I want I want supercomputers running. I think all we have to do is hook up the hookups. Everything should be here, right? Maybe we'll just run the hookups for our friend radio control unit. Cause so I guess we unlocked that. We can run these hookups too, even though we don't have any aluminum casing to put in. While we're running the supercomputer hookups, we'll just run we'll just run those hookups too. So we'll do that as well. And then we'll go get our box site. And then we'll run the hookups for our building. So first things first. Let's see if I can get these buildings in the way I want. I want to change that because I was messing around and the black looks really good. I'm just going to change all those to black. That's our floor swatch. Or our pathway swatch. And then I'm going to connect these. Basically, I'm going to put these... I'm going to try, and I think I'll succeed, putting these buildings in a way that allows us to have some nice pathways. All right, so refineries first, I think. And we're going to go our first refinery. Basically, we're just, we're just setting up everything for the aluminum smelter. And then are we going to go, we're going to go this way. And the goal is, I think we want them right on the edge of this tile. But the goal is to kind of split the difference. I think that works. I just want plenty of room on each side. Let's see, that is halfway on the, that's three quarters of a tile away from the edge. And three quarters of the tile away from that edge. Okay, great. I think that's right. We make a square. Yep, right here. Right there. And then we may move him. This is kind of why I want to do this now before I run the box site. Is so that I, I know where all of my buildings are going to go. 
Now, I think we're going to build the next four. Lined up off of this tile. But this way. And yes, those are put the opposite directions on purpose. And if you know anything about aluminum, you know that and we can go ahead and set the recipe so we can kind of see what I'm doing here. The solution. Okay, so we're going to get um, bauxite and water coming in to these bad boys. Our bauxite's going to come in over here somewhere, probably more like... You know, something like this. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out in a second. Boxite's coming in. It's going to get fed to these first four. Then we have a small space. And then we have the next two. The next two. Oh, and then the um, on, on the back side here, the aluminous solution comes out. All right. The aluminous solution comes out. We're going to have one pipe that picks it up and then immediately drops it off over here. That's why they're reversed. So that the output from one can feed the input of the other i experimented with keeping them all facing the same direction but then our pipes kind of go like you know flip around weirdly and then the front comes aluminum scrap and water and then this water will feed right back into this water so we save kind of by flipping this around we save Kind of two trips for pipes both the aluminum solution on this side and the water on that side let's do this real quick let's decide how we're gonna i want to know exactly where this bauxite goes and then i'll be fine let's see splitter let me take him there we can yeah, we can take him there. Can we get can we get you all the way inside? And then this bauxite, it is temporary, but it is going to be quote unquote temporary for quite a while. We um we're going to replace this with a train line, but we're you know, I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take me before I can get there. So that's that's going to be our box site for a bit. Okay, nice. Uh, those are our six refineries, the only six we need. And then our foundries are already in. They're right here. And then we're going to do one of the things we need is the aluminum scrap that comes out of here. Okay, and the and the aluminum scraps is going to come down here. Just like we, we've done before, we're going to do quite a bit of sealing work. This produces extra silica we have to deal with. If we don't deal with it, it'll back up and it'll all stop. So it's 200 silica, 50 times 4. And then these bad boys here, they eat silica. We need them. But, you know, 200 does, isn't divided by 75 equally, unfortunately. It's 2 and 2 thirds. So... I think I'll probably end up just biting the bullet and running that extra silica all the way down so that we can feed it in the correct direction. The scrap will go in there. The water will feed back in. The alumina solution will feed in here. And then the silica will take it down. So that's the start of the silica. We'll take the silica down and we'll run it all the way down there, merge it in, and then run it all the way back. I think that's the safest way to do this without, you know, opening up a more of a can of worms. Okay, cool. Next, how many tiles for our constructors? And I think it's three. So we get a little aesthetic choice here. We only need two. Okay, we're calling for two. But I think I'm just going to build three. And then 66% these. Just for fun. Cool. So there's our constructors. They're done. Now for our wonderful 
and pain in the ass assemblers. And we need 10. First one's gonna go right here. And then we need a little space. And then there. That's our our buddy. Okay, cool. Now we have to skip a little bit of space. Actually, it'd just be easier to come down to this side. I think this is our corner. Okay, and when we build four, does it make sense? It does, it does indeed. Okay, cool. All right, let me finish walking through this whole production process. Illumina, I, I know that a lot of people that I talk to, quite a few people in the comments also, you know, they run into Illumina and they get overwhelmed or it stops getting fun or they have an issue kind of pushing through it. It's, it's, not, it's not too bad. All you have to do really is follow the box site, right? And now that we have everything built, I'll show you how this breaks down. There's a couple of little funky side missions that you have to complete with the extra silica and the extra water. But other than that, it, it, you just follow the bauxite, okay? And so the bauxite comes in, let's do that. Let's just follow the bauxite through this whole process. Comes in here, goes into these four, along with water, all right? Comes out as a Lumina solution along with silica. The Illumina solution heads over to these two, along with coal. Okay, we're gonna have to run some coal over here from, from our friend. And then out this side comes out the Illumina scrap and the water. The water you gotta deal with by refeeding back into this. The silica for this one, you have to deal with by feeding into these foundations. Uh, foundries okay and that's where the aluminum scrap goes as well okay aluminum scrap and silica all right so the output the solid output from this and the solid output from these get combined to make the aluminum ingots Okay, now just to be clear, there's not enough silica. Not enough silica gets produced with how much scrap you're making. So you have to you have to feed in extra silica. So make sure it's not enough, but you need it to come back. It's the same with the water. You get extra water here, but it's not enough to fully feed your own production lines. So you need you need extra. And I think that's part of the stuff that grows people. So silica and scrap come in there and aluminum ingots come out. Now the aluminum ingots have two jobs and that is to make casing and uh, so we do the casing first. Casing's really simple. It's just constructors. Okay, it goes through, casing comes out, no big deal. And then the other thing that we are making with that aluminum ingot is, did I pass it? Aluminum sheets, all clad sheets. Okay, and then for the all clad sheets, that's more aluminum ingots plus copper ingots. We're already making the copper ingots. You know, I think we have enough. If not, we'll up the production, but it's not a big deal. And then that makes our all clad aluminum sheets. And our aluminum sheets from the assemblers and our aluminum ingots, our aluminum casing from the constructors, we're done. That's it. Okay, so I designed this, this, this setup is designed to handle a full Mark IV belt of bauxite. 
This is what you need for, for 480 per minute box site incoming. This is what you're left with. You know, and the numbers are all round. They kind of work out. So um, it's, it's really nice. It's six total refineries, eight foundries, two constructors. Really, I'm being cute with the third one, but two constructors and 10 assemblers. Okay. And, you know, we should get this in today. So, yeah, that's the plan. And our buildings are all in place. We, we will just have to run the belt work uh, once we go get our bauxite. But first, I want to get these out of the way. These are our last manufacturers dealing with this line. And we well, let's just hook them up. Both the supercomputer and the radio control unit. Radio control unit is here. Supercomputer. Supercomputer is here. All right, we got this. We got this. We're almost done with this wall. Just have to finish strong. And you're not going in there like you weren't a couple of streams ago. So what are we going to do? No clickage. We go here and then go. Really should work. So I think what somebody said in a message to me is that these are actually, yeah. Okay, so if we look, yeah, he's right. You're in here. I don't know if that was you, CJ. I, I don't remember who said it. You see the difference? In the height between this one, between that corner and that corner, there's a difference in height. This one is actually on the ground, and this one is not. And that is why we can't connect. And you're 100% correct, because this worked. Connected, it was just fine, and this one's not. So let's see if we can get him connected. Yeah, see, he's up. Right there, he's up. Yeah, it's right there. So, I'm sure it's because I was dumb. And I built these with not enough space. But I wonder if there's anything we can do about that today. I wonder if we can cheat with the lock. The hologram lock. Get him on the ground. He's on the ground there. Okay, he's, he's on the ground. Now we'll... Slide him in. Oh my goodness. That one's that one's broken too. See? See, this one's broken too. It's up off the ground. So we're gonna do the same thing. This is gonna work. Whoever said that, you said it in a a YouTube comment. You're the man. Okay, because you saved me an incredible amount of frustration and time. You are hundred percent correct. Oh my god, I love the hologram lock. You know, all the FPS, like, hitching and all that stuff that's going on with Update 8. Totally, totally worth it. Worked. Clicked right in. Oh. Hey, that clicked. I heard it. Okay, last one is Plastic. And then we have this spot right here we're lining it up on all the way up. Where are you, plastic? There you are. We don't need a smart splitter for you. Okay, plastic will fill up. Let's give him a helping hand. Okay, cool. Okay, so in theory, our supercomputers would come in here. I want to make sure that I haven't already set him. Yeah, our automated, not automated wiring, the adaptive, All right? And then the modular engine. Yep, adaptive control unit, modular engine, heavy modular frame. All these are on this by the ultimate sushi line. Yes, package turbo fuel and motors are there and computers. Computers are backed up and high speed connectors. So I don't think, did we make a plan for supercomputers? 
I don't I don't think we did. I don't I don't think we made a plan for supercomputers. But I mean one manufacturer's worth of supercomputers is like nothing. Right? No, not radio control units. This is gonna be the same problem with the radio control units. Yeah, it's less than two per minute. Okay, radio control units are two and a half per minute. So all of this can fit on our monster sushi line, line five, which is right here. So let's just do both while we're here. Let's do radio control units and supercomputers. Okay, where's our extra spots? We got, we got one here for sure. Yeah, we got one there for sure. Okay, that's gonna be the aluminum casing. Not set yet because I couldn't set it, remember? You watched, I couldn't set it. Okay, so that's aluminum casing. I was I was thinking maybe we already had an extra one up here. But we do not. The casing is gonna go in there. And the casing was always gonna go in here with the silica. It's our friends, the supercomputer and radio control unit. And we have we have one. We have space for one. The other problem is, is that we're really running out of bins. I'm trying to jam the last amount of items in here. We have three spots left and we have four items, right? We have supercomputers, radio control units, aluminum casing and aluminum sheets. We're already sharing a box here. All right. Well, let's let's do it. Let's add on, baby. And then he comes down and then comes one, two, and then he comes down. All right, I promised aluminum and we're messing with our setup, but it needs to be, we need to get this locked in place. Now we have another line to work with. The issue is, and that's good, we know where those three are. Okay, it's these three on the ends here. Problem is, is I'm not 100% sure. Put these signs in. Okay, these, these, these four I get. This guy. Why? Why is nothing in him? Okay, that guy. He's open. He He's open for business. And then the three on the end that we haven't built out. That's our four. That's our four that are open. And what do we need to put in them? We need to put it in the supercomputers, the radio control units, the aluminum. Now the aluminum casing is, he's already set. That's the casing right next to the plastic. And then we have these other three that are the ones on the end. Okay. So let's put supercomputers in, in the weird one by himself. Right here. And supercomputers are gonna come out right here. But I don't exactly want to mess up our lovely stairs. Then Pop that, pop that. Okay. This guy is super computer. Oh, let's try it again. Super computer. Cool. All cloud aluminum sheets needs its own line. So what would he do? He would, he's being made over here. He's gonna come down here. 
We're just trying to make a plan for him so that when we when we finish him, he'll he'll plug right in somewhere. This line. We'll beat him through one of these lines. He'll come right here. This is where it needs to go. We'll make a little sign for ourselves. He'll come in here and then we'll peel him off in the first one. Right. Smart splitter. Butt scratcher. Overflow. All clad aluminum sheets. Then we're going to put him in the bottom. Where are you, bro? You are right here on this, on this line. I don't know. We're stuck in Narnia again. Okay, there's our all-clad aluminum sheets. It's done. Okay, so if the bottom ones are all-clad aluminum sheets, that means these top two need to be... It's going to be a radio control units. But now he's regretting his life choices. Major, major regret. I'll start a satisfactory live stream. It'll be fun. Let everybody watch me screw up over and over again. Hey guys, come watch me not play the game very well. It'll be fine. Okay. Radio control units. That's our home. Okay. Okay. We can do this. We can do this, Ken. We can do this. We can do it. Now. I'm going to put him in that line. I can't remember if we even need this top line or if I miscounted. But I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to put this guy right here. That's going to be our radio control unit. All I have to do is connect this one over to that. The one that we it used to be the turbo fuel. This one. Okay. Radio control units are done. And we did the supercomputers, which is what we came down here to do. And while we were down here, we shuffled everything around. We figured out radio control units. We figured out what we do with the all clad sheet, all clad sheets. We figured out the aluminum casing. And then if we have anything else that we need to stick in storage, it's this guy right here. Is there a question mark? There is. Okay. He's our friend. Their backup. We don't know what goes inside him. Oh no, those are off. No! 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 <laughs> Everything else is handled. Did we set? Yes, we did. Radio control unit. Did we set the supercomputer? Yes, we set the supercomputer. Last thing I want is to run a bunch of supercomputers down in here into the trash. Or radio control units. Yeah. All right. So we have a backlog of supercomputers by now, I'm sure. All we have to do is feed them into our mega sushi belt. I'm just going to put mega in front of everything. This is our mega starting base. This is our mega factory. This is our mega sushi belt. Yeah. So we're going to do this. we gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of cheating cheating go farther than we need All right is that lined up yeah. then we're gonna stick 
our friend the merger on here. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna go here. Oh my god, sometimes sometimes it does work. There goes the supercomputer! Alright, let's track it. Let's make sure he goes where he goes. And then we have 50 in the inventory. He should be he should shoot down into this hole. Okay. Well, when he goes through his slow ass mark one that I gave him. Blow down here, go right right down into there. Meow. All right. There they go. Supercomputers. Waiting for you, supercomputers. I need a drink anyway. Actually, I like. I actually could use a drink. Usually, I just mean water. No, today's fine. It's not nearly as stressful as that one that I stressed myself out. There we go. Supercomputers. Okay, cool. And then I think he goes on the top, I think. I think he comes out right there. Just kind of cool. Supercomputers are kind of fun to look at. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I know you're almost here. There you are! Awesome. All right, let's put our 50 in there. Supercomputers are done. They're automated and they're in. Awesome. Okay. Last one, radio control unit. All right, aluminum casing, crystal oscillator, and computer. It'd be easy. Where's our crystal oscillator? Famous last words. Ken, why do you got to do that? It'd be easy. All right. He's ready to accept casing. And then we already did our crystal oscillators. All we got to do is the computer. Which we will pull from right here. No, not any undefined. Overflow. That could have been bad. Let's hook up power. Okay, we got our computers and our crystal oscillators. Our aluminum casing, it'll be ready to rock. All right. I don't think there's anything else I can possibly delay going to get bauxite for. Okay, so I think this is going to be pretty fun because we're going to be using these as sort of they were intended to be used. So I am going to try to build these power pylons in a place where we don't have to move them in the future. I was supposed to not get kicked off of that. Maybe it's because I had a an angle to it. So I don't want to be up there. All right, let's go up there. Let's see how good that looks. Not today, bees. Okay, he is off the edge a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna rebuild him. And rebuild him. Better, faster, stronger. There we go. Now he's solidly rocking. And he's connected. Alright, cool. And then our marker there is where our box side is. So I wonder if we can stay up on this sort of like plateau -y area up here. How far can we? Pretty dang far. I don't know if that looks good, but we'll check it out. Don't judge me. 
Okay. We all have our OCD and we all have our issues. There we go. A little over rotated, but we'll call it good. And then are you gonna go? Are we gonna just come over to this one? Ooh, yellow power slug. No, I think we'll just do this. Reorientate a bit. Mm, I may want to use that as a road one day. We are taking civilization. Out. Well, if that day happens, I'll move it. There's our box height. Oh, we have a whole family of hogs over here. Let's build build on the out right here. Oh yeah, two for yeah, stand right next to each other. That's right. I'm not even gonna pick up your remains. Okay, we're here. Make sure this is bauxite. <laughs> it is. All right, we're going to build ourselves a little hutch. Then we're going to do the trick that we figured out. Blueprint. I don't think I'm gonna use a truck in, in out of this, but it's all built in case we do. Plus, he's just really convenient. Okay. Now we start the long trek back home. And I am not really going to worry about this in a large way. Is our box site keeping up with us? It is. I mean, I'm not going to take it through the stream. Not a, not a monster. You're a monster. I'll take it over the stream. Oh, what friends did I make? Oh, you guys? I hate you guys. Oh, yeah, sniped. Oh. That's not gonna work. I can kill these first. Bam, bam. Where's the third one? Where'd you go? Oh, you pop out. I can hear you. Ah! <laughs> He's in my face. <laughs> he got me. Uh. After this, I need to run some water, some water pumps. We will. So I said we will. I said jingle bells. That that reminds me of jingle bells. But you know, I was I was informed that it is actually we will rock you. So I mean, I guess 
guess if that's what you're into. Yeah, there they go. Boxite's in. That didn't take long at all. It took like 45 minutes. I think less than that. Okay, water time. Water time. And... Guess what we're not making? A floor hole. We're not doing it. good really nobody's gonna give this to me not even you noodle I can always count on you fine fine Oh, straight. Wish that it would let me just delete the floor hole. But when I go to delete the floor hole, it deletes the pipe as well. Uh, which sucks. But that's a one meter foundation. We're gonna... We're gonna see if we can make it work. I think that's right. Yep, I think that's right. Looking at the distance here. That looks good. That looks the same. And then once they're in, you can lock them to their friends. No big dealio. But getting that first one in. Copper sheets! Copper sheets! He's pumping. We have full water. All the way down here. Okay, cool. Water's done. Boxite's done. Water's done. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. Now we just got to finish setting up these bad boys. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Initial hookups are done. Our valve is in place. Here's a good place for our... Yeah. Cool. My first priority power switch. We're gonna go... Something like... This. This. Oh. There we go. And then we're actually going to feed this line down here. Okay, cool. Circuit break priority. Let's just throw them in two. For now. We could shuffle all that stuff around. If you guys haven't seen that before or understand how this works, basically what we can do is when there when we have a power shortage, it will shut off switches in a certain priority. And obviously what you want is you want the power to the things that is making you power to have the highest priority, right? So all of our oil plants, all that stuff is going to be behind a switch with all these generators. Same, same thing with the oil production and the water. The only things it needs is water and oil. Water and oil go in and all the refineries run their magic and power gets made. So we never want the water and the refineries and the oil to run out of power, right? So that's gonna be the number one priority. 
it also means you can remote switch. So if I if I put up another one, does he even have to be connected to the network? Nope. Uh, unnamed switch. So I can turn things off from anywhere on the map. If I name them and I'm like, oh, you know what? I need to turn off, um, you know, I don't know, whatever. Boom, switch it off from anywhere that you, from anywhere in the map. Cause all you would have to do is build a random priority switch. And then you can see, look, I just turned that on and now turned it off. Right, so I can be anywhere on the map and turn on turn on the switch. Okay, power's in. Uh, I like doing refineries through the floor like that. Maybe we will do something else for so much freaking work. Um. There's a faster way to do something that looked really nice instead of a bunch of power poles. I mean, there's the beam trick. We could do... Let's try. Let's try. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Nice looking power lines. The holy grail of this game. All right, after this, all we gotta do is hook up power to our two const uh, three constructors and We're golden with power. Uh, sometimes you gotta just exercise the OCD muscle, you know? Sometimes. Okay, those are done. Okay, is all power done? Are these foundries? Let's do these foundries. All the power is in. I think we need to start just from the beginning and just hook hook our hook our goods up so these these guys are set let's handle silica here in an underfloor we'll do solids in an underfloor let's do let's run the solids let's run all the solids which is most of the work and then we'll fool around with the liquids. Then this is an in. So coal. Coal comes in here. A uh, pretty hefty amount of coal, actually. Let me see. Let's hook these up. Let me see how much coal is on that line for our so what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel it off of the line here i'm gonna do it right here okay now right now we don't have enough All right we don't have enough because these belts that are coming out of our coal supply Right here, they're not Mark V. Okay, so so we don't have enough. But we do have an extra... Right, we're only eating 360, but we're running 480, so... We have an extra 120. And these have 120. So, so we have half of what we need. Until we upgrade to a Mark V. So that's... That works for me. Let's get this in. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool's in. What is next? I think we got to deal with this silica. And silica is going to be a bit of a pain because we said we were going to run it all the way down. So it's going to join this bus running down here. 
Let's find where Silica has to enter. Silica has entered the chat. Alright. Right here. Oh, maybe that's not the best place. Maybe it's here instead. That worked. It's gonna be a lot cleaner. There you go. Join your silica brethren. Okay, cool. Silica and coal are done. Let's go ahead and do the pipe work. Really only have one pipe work left. We we already did the the blue. So we're gonna we're just gonna build this. It'll come out blue at the beginning and then we'll we'll change it over to gray. Cool. It's blowing. And we're producing water. And is the water the water feeding? To be really safe, what I would be what I would do is do a fluid buffer in here. But I don't really want to use the space. So yeah. Oh, let's get rid of this and get rid of this. And let's blow hole this up. We're gonna we're just we're moving through. We're done with fluid. Here's our scrap. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Now where does our scrap need to go? And our scrap comes right here I believe it does comes right out this hole so let's set our scrap we're gonna do the first box first import uh, yep we have eight of these I believe that's three we'll connect the scrap and then we'll hook the silica into these and then ingots will be done and we just got to hook up our constructors and assemblers. So where is our input? He's right here. Oh, there's our bucket of alumina salute, our fix it bucket right there. Um, all right, we need to make, where are we coming in? We're coming in here. We're coming in hot boys. Okay, that's done. All right, now all we gotta do to finish our aluminum ingots is peel our silica. It's waiting for us, it's right here. And then also, I know that especially for some of you guys, it's very disorienting me hopping around after aluminum is done the first priority is the you know the power the power pack we're hooking up right now as we speak our last silica to our aluminum foundry our aluminum ingot foundry okay cool now these should all be making you should all be full of aluminum ingots, and they are. Okay, great. I think we're going to, again, hide these in the subfloor. All right, we're going to... We're going to jam... Can we get a little closer? I guess that's is what we get. All right, we can, we can live with this. We're putting in floor holes. All the hookups are in. All we have to do is connect them and then and get our outputs. 
All right, let's do the copper, uh, whatever this is called. Oh no, the aluminum ingots. We'll do the aluminum ingots first, and then we have to do copper ingots after that. But the aluminum ingots are all right here. Then how far down do we need to go? We need to go two down. Oh yeah, our aluminum ingots are flowing. Okay, then we can keep coming down this, down Main Street here. Um, all right, now where's our, our out, our inputs are along that uh, black aisle. Aisle that I colored black. What we need here is a splitter. Okay, that's where the copper will go. I like it a lot. Now we gotta build a lot of those. We can do it. We can do it. The lock hologram is like for me. I feel, you know, I feel seen and I feel attacked, but I don't care because it's so damn good. Oh, and the delete blueprint. The the entire blueprint, deleting the entire blueprint in one go. Unbelievably amazing. Let's just, we got to hook the, these lines up. And these lines... I love it. Ten construct, uh, ten assemblers, all hooked up. Ten assemblers, assembling. Eight foundries, foundering. Six refineries. Three constructors. Oh my God! No! <laughs> He's back. He almost hit Bean. I love the trucks in this game. They're they are amazingly chaotic. Okay. I just gotta hook up the lines. All clad sheets. I'll come out here. So, yeah, we'll, 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 what will we do? What will we do? Because casing comes out of here. That works, and I doubt we're getting any tighter than that. Perfect. And then we'll make our friend here. here. Okay. Awesome, there's our outputs. Um, now all we have to do really quickly and we're done, besides running those outputs, is the copper the copper ingots. Okay, so let's go look at our copper ingots. We should be good, we should be getting enough ingots. It says that we make enough. Are we overflowing any? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so as long as we're overflowing some, I think we're good. Now the only downside, the only problem is, is that we're gonna have to take it from both. I wonder if we can just do, we really need a merge. All we need, we need to merge these two lines and then send it down. What if we do something like, 
All right, okay, all right, it's coming to me. I'm getting there. All right, we'll call it good. There's our, there's our copper ingots. We just gotta run those. And then we gotta run our outputs and we've done aluminum in one stream. Are you hiding? Lower hole of destiny. Oh my lord, I don't I, I don't know where I am. Oh, it's right here. And it needs to feed into here. There we go. Why do you need copper for aluminum? Oh, it's in the recipe. I mean, if you're talking about, like, in real life, I, I don't know why you would need copper for aluminum in real life. But, uh, copper ingots are needed to make all clad aluminum sheets. I don't know, maybe maybe the copper ingot is just the band. We'll go with that. So that band that wraps the aluminum sheets together, that's what you need the copper for. It's made out of copper. Does that answer your question? <laughs> Okay, there goes the copper ingots. Okay, great. And if we did our math correctly, then everything else should still work. Okay, here's my thought. It's gonna take me a second, to walk you guys through it, but it's important. So we've long known, oh, I just realized why I can't do what I was gonna do. We've long known that silica and all clad sheets need to go in this hole. I was going and I've, I'm sending silica from the aluminum factory portion of this of this factory all the way down to join the silica line. I was thinking of just plugging in the all uh, the casing right here, but that's not going to work. You can't plug in there because we need silica to do single line silica things up until this point somewhere over here. Hey, a supercomputer. Right. Right here. Well, that is actually where it's joining, is it not? Might work. It could work. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, here's our here's our beast of a line. Silica's coming in on, in four. One, two, three, four. That's silica right there. Yeah, that's silica. Okay, and at that point, it can be the sushi line. It is sushi line right here. It's sushi line, sushi line, sushi line, sushi line, sushi line. Where do we where do we butt in? Oh my god, we butt in right here. It's perfect. I accidentally did something awesome. Because here, this is the left side. Yes. What we cannot do is put all clad sheets in this line because then it'll go down here and it'll screw up our foundries of we'll all clad sheets in our foundries. But this overflow silica we can yeah okay awesome perfect after it comes down right here but these two silicas join and it's safe to put all clad sheets on this line or all uh not all clad sheets aluminum casing okay we can do it perfect and then aluminum, aluminum casing is done. All we have to do is attach it to that freaking line right there. Where's our casing? It's right here. We don't even need it to be there. We can... Okay, cool. Let's just kill this. Oh my god, those trucks. They're running into each other. <laughs> They're fighting over who gets there first. Come on, just don't get deadlocked. 
You know, wait your turn, boys. Jeez. Okay, all this needs to go. There, there, and this one goes forward. This one goes here. That one goes there. And this goes right into our friend, the Silica. Are you here, Silica? You are. And what do we need? We need a merger from you, too. Okay, all clad sheets. Let's make sure. This would be nasty if I'm wrong. Okay, here comes our all clad sheets. I mean, I keep saying that. Aluminum casing. Okay, and then you, they flow down here. Alright, let's head up. They'll, they'll be long gone, or at least the beginnings of them by the time I get up there. There they go, silica and all, uh, aluminum casing. Now, everything that's needed silica, we have put a smart splitter on in preparation for this moment. Okay, silica, smart splitter. Silica, smart splitter, smart splitter. Okay. And then the one place that we need all clad uh, aluminum casing, why they're here, they're here making our first radio control units. There they go. Right where they're supposed to be. We're making a radio control unit, our first radio control unit. Amazing. Now, those will overflow. Those should be overflowing because they're filled. Yep, there they go. Those are the overflows. And they're headed down. Should be along the top line there. Yeah, there they go. The top one. And now they should be getting split out. Right there. There they go, on the way to the base. There they go. We weren't even that far behind them, not really. That's a Mark II. That should be plenty of capacity for them. Okay, and then let's go follow them in the base. And not only that, we're going to get a radio control unit. Aluminum casing, and hopefully... There's our casing. We need a radio control unit somewhere. He, he hasn't made it up here yet. Let's check the output. Maybe the output isn't connected correctly. And they're just storing up. Be right here. Oh, they're in there. They're still in there. Oh my God. Well, yeah, duh. We didn't build the output. Okay, nice. Now we can follow them. Make sure that we are happy with where they're going. But I mean, we double checked. I, I'm sure it's fine. So they should join up that line and very quickly pass down through here. No, through here. There they go. There they come. I'm so happy. Radio control units. But, uh, yeah, definitely come and join the Discord. There's a... Um, oh my gosh, that was, that was awesome. The, the, the top of the supercomputer, like, clips through... Here, let's watch it. That was hilarious. Here, let's see him. Whee! <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. It's awesome. Uh, but, yeah. You guys are welcome to join. All right, where's our, um, there he is. There he is. I'm so happy. Radio control units. Hey, we just have one more to go and it's already prepped. We just, we have an output and an input. We got to get our all clad sheets. And we gotta stick them in here. I made a sign for it. 
So what is the best way to do that without causing aneurysms for all involved? I will find a way to do this. Now the only problem is I don't know what's under here. But it's right next to our silica overflow. I'll delete that one so I know which one it is. Connect him. That'd be nice. All right, let's see. All I got to do is get aluminum, all clad aluminum sheets in there. In that hole. Right there. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. If I just keep saying I can do this over and over again, that makes it true, right? I can feed, I can feed the all clad sheets down this line, right? We could turn right. I may just go through, guys. We've done it before. We'll have to do it again. Okay, it's it's less egregious than some of the other things I was considering. This will definitely hop over. I think I'm standing in the road. I think the truck truck gonna run me over. Oh crap, that's not straight. <laughs> I can't win. There's no winning. There's no winning. There we go. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's happening there. Oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, it's like a freaking basket weave. Um, okay, sheets are in. There they are. There they are. They're here. That's it, guys. Everything's done. We have an extra spot. Well, really, it was that one because I jammed those guys together. That was that was the extra spot, but I mean, our, this is it. This is the factory is is done. Production wise, all this stuff is on. Let's check our water balancing. Make sure everything's working at 100 percent. Yeah, 100. Zero percent oxide. That would have helped. Fifty eight percent. Oh, there's too much alumina solution. Why? No, no. You're getting what you need. Oh, oh, it's probably because I know why the scrap, uh, the scrap built up. That's all because we weren't making what we needed. Make. Are you idle? Yeah, there's just a huge overflow still happening. We had made a crap ton. That should not be shuffling. Um, unless I know why that's shuffling. Uh, I know why. I know why. I know why. Because I have a bunch of Mark II's in the base. All 
All right, I think you. That's a Mark IV. Everything behind that's a Mark IV. So that's that's good. That will fix that, and that backup will be done. Okay, cool. Logistics Mark V. We need a hundred of them. Let's get it done. Oh yeah, baby, I love it. Give it to me. Okay, we got enough of that. And then I just got a bunch of those. Let's do this thing. She goes. I'm so happy. Milestone reached. Improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Ooh, inventory slots. Hover pack also inventory slots. We're doing that one next. Hover pack tonight, guys. Oh my god. So happy. So good. He's already back. We can launch. Let's do it. Usually it's like eight minutes or something. enables aerial overview of all powered factories as well as easy transport across multi-level buildings by wirelessly connecting to the power grid. Let's build one. And we got new uh, inventory slots. Nice. Are we going to build one with what we have on us? Now, I did have a hover pack on my other save, so it's not like brand new for me, but. Oh, it's so nice. Hazmat suit. I mean, for the for the extra inventory slots alone, it's worth it. So 50, let's just bu bump out 50 gas filters real fast. Uh, I don't have them automated. Because, you know, not a masochist. It's fabric. We don't have any mycilla. And... I guess we need to make a bunch of fabric. And I have been putting it off. So I guess now's the time. It's in our, it's a refinery uh a refinery, right? Oh, we just haven't gotten it yet. Well, we need 25 fabric. Let's see what's my problem. My problem is is I need fabric to get fabric. And I stupidly used up all of oh, these can go in their homes. These have homes now. What's the matter? You don't like your home? Can I use the object scanner and look for my Scylla? It's really like really lame just so that I can get the hazmat filter. And it means there's no my Scylla. We need some freaking mycilla. Need a cave. Maybe, maybe north of here. Pretty sure there's some mycelia there. I just need a little bit, and then I'll make it artificially. 
Maybe the coral at the coast has some mycilla. Okay, I'll look there. I only have six of those left. And obviously we can't make any more. We can't scan for it. I don't think it's on the map. Here we go. Wait, is this fake mycilla? Really? Bro. I tried to chop this down. Oh, it's working. Yes. I swear I tried to chop this down. And I, and it wouldn't chop. I don't know why. Okay, cool. Mission accomplished. Harvest it. And there's 25. And then I put that there just for that purpose. Yay! Okay. Really? Give me that fabric. We gotta pump those rookie numbers up. I was pretty sure you could automate gas filters. Oh, it's gotta be a, it's a freaking manufacturer. Cause it takes three items, doy. We have the rubber here. What do we not have here? We don't have coal. Coal. Oh, I know where coal is. Where are you, Cole? I I just I just want to say hi. God, I miss my hover pack. This is so amazing. Uh, okay. Twenty per minute. How many do we need? We need fifty. Uh, we were making some extra here. Yeah, perfect. We'll take that home with us. What else can we do? What we really, really need to do while we let that happen is we have some things that need level, uh, Mark V belts. Okay, well, what, what needs a Mark V belt? I think our steel does. Our silica needs it, for sure. So reduce silica. Our aluminum scrap needs it. Silica, aluminum, scrap. I think those are the big ones. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that done. Okay. Let's do the steel. Steel is right there. And then let's update our buttons. Yay. Mark fives. I love the hover pack. Oh man, I forget. I forget how fast those Mark V belts really are. Okay, what are we talking? Yep, yeah, right here. Oh yeah, navigating our stupid factory floor is like so so easy except i can't get out a door i went i had to say it always happens uh right here okay we're finally making steel at the correct production amount oh it's so amazing all right let's hop over here and do it with silica uh, we can actually just start upgrading all of this. Okay, cool. That should be good enough. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, our aluminum plant actually needs it. Yes. This needs to be a Mark V. Which 
What's your guys' problem? Not enough bauxite. I ran Mark IV all the way down. You should be full of bauxite. Are you just overflowing? 120 times 4 is definitely 480. That's not a full belt. I screwed up somewhere. I mean, shocker, right? That's not a full belt. What the heck, bro? I know, I know where it is, maybe. Is it all the way back there? At least this is like really fast and really safe. Amazing. Oh, I'm definitely pressing shift. My pinky is holding that down hardcore. Yeah, it's something in the miner. Did I just want to boost it like a dummy? I probably didn't boost it. Oh my god. There we go. That's uh, always the little things, right? The only way to travel. Well, at least we got our gas masks going. We're never going to have to worry about those again. While we're messing around with this. Yeah, it was too sharp. Ah, uh, got it. <laughs> Okay, cool. What else can we do? Let's check on our friends. The gas masks. I'd like more, actually. To hold up coal. Yeah. Oh, I know where there's easier coal than this. I'm being silly. In the truck depot. Do you pa I, do you, I was singing the same thing. Do they make hypertubes obsolete? I mean, kinda. I was thinking to myself, oh, that still hasn't gotten there yet? We got back really fast. I mean, why go to all the trouble and all the bugginess of the hypertubes when you can just do that? Although hypertubes can go really fast. We ran out of our special delivery. Our special delivery coal. All right. You know what we can do? We'll leave this, our gas mask going. But we can get our next milestone. And then let's drop our object scanner off. Don't need him anymore. All right, let's get this milestone done. Milestone reached. With the new hazmat suit and iodine-infused filters, you will be protected against uranium-based radiation. Aeronautical engineering. We have this one too. Radio control units and batteries. Let's knock it out. All right, let's shut down this. Crime against humanity. We got aluminum done from start to finish in one stream. I didn't have a single building built. Oh, just in time. Hi, buddy. Thanks for being here. And then we're going to need a fabric box. That'll be our fabric box. Okay. Let's do it.
milestone reached. Aerial transport of resources is now possible with the use of drones, ideal for shipping across long distances or difficult terrain. Ensure the presence of batteries at drone ports for optimal results. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Drones, baby! And we're done with... Tier 7. All we have left is Tier 8. We're starting the mega factories, guys. The big, the whole reason, the fun parts of this save. Up until now, it has just been, you know, completionary stuff. But we are, we're gonna start the crazy. The crazy, crazy. Let's get everything we need. No hold them back. We broke the piggy bank. We're headed to the candy store. What do we have left? The celebration of our first base finished. Why do you keep running that way, dude? Bro. He only runs east. Or she. <laughs> All right, we'll play with them later. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Big major milestone today and another big one next stream. But yeah, we 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 got to fix up our factory so that we're happy with it. Man, I'm going to have to make a bunch of freaking trips here. I'm not doing that. We have to fix up our factory at least so it looks nice enough, it looks finished. That we're happy with it so we can move on and get some other things done so that's really the next step after we finish off this factory is put in the trains this is going to be a big train save i've got some cool ideas of what i want to do but it'll be it'll be quite a bit of infrastructure that we need to build before we can really you know really start on these mega factories so we're just going to see how it goes, you know, and we'll go from there. After this factory, guys, I, I don't, it's all new ground for me. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. All right. That is going to do it. We're looking great. And, uh, thank you everybody for joining me tonight. And thank you for the, to the new member guys, come check out the discord. And, uh, if you want to, and I will see you guys next stream in a couple of days. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. We did it. All automation is complete on our starter factory. Next episode, we're working on the exterior cosmetics for our factory. We need to give it a finished feel before we can move on. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If I cut out anything you wanted to see, the link for the full VOD for this episode is in the description. And. If you want to watch me basket weave conveyor belts in real time, look for my live streams right here on YouTube. That's it for now. Until next time.